In this video, we will show you how to use the 123 CCTV iPad application to view your security camera system. First, start by opening the application iDMSS. From the configuration menu, press the back icon in the top left corner. From this screen, all you have to do is simply click on a plus sign inside one of the boxes. Then, choose your device and select a camera. And of course, repeat this process to add any other cameras. If you ever need to close out of a camera, all you have to do is simply select the camera feed and then click the box with an X on it at the bottom of the screen. If you find yourself going to the same cameras over and over again, it might help you to make a favorite camera. You can do this by clicking on the star icon at the bottom of the screen. The camera that you have selected and that is highlighted in green will become one of your favorite cameras and you can label it whatever you'd like. After you create a favorite camera, the next time you open your device manager, your camera will be listed as a device in itself. The camera icon at the bottom of the screen will allow you to take snapshots of whichever cameras you have pulled up. This snapshot will then be saved directly into your pictures library. The icon next to the camera is a rearrange camera icon. If you push the icon, it will give you cameras in a different format. You can rearrange the cameras by simply dragging and dropping any camera view onto another box. This application also supports multi-touch. If you have a speaker attached to any of your cameras, you can click the microphone icon and speak through that. The hand pushing a button icon represents your DVR sending alarms to sensors or devices in your house that you have connected to your DVR. You simply slide the toggle to enable or disable. If we push the list icon just above the hand pushing a button, this will bring up our favorite cameras and our devices. And last we have a speaker button to enable or disable audio if you do have audio enabled cameras attached to your DVR. This application also supports landscape mode, which in many ways is actually more functional than using this program in portrait. One of the more beneficial uses of this application in landscape mode is the ability to get a preview of your cameras before you actually drag them onto the screen. Once you find the camera that you'd like, simply click on the picture and drag it onto the screen. Another very nice feature about this application is that you can actually control hand tilt zoom cameras if you have them set up on your security camera system. And you can do this by pulling up the screen that is PTZ and controlling the PTZ is as easy as dragging your finger in a direction to move it. For a lot of people dragging their finger across the screen to move the camera is not the most intuitive way of doing it and if they need it to be more accurate. Another way of controlling the PTZ is by actually pulling up the PTZ control menu on the right hand side and moving the camera using the arrows, the zoom buttons, and the save points of interest button in the bottom right corner of that menu. One other really great feature that you can use when you're controlling a PTZ from this application is actually keeping preset locations or points of interest that you can quickly navigate to by using the marker icon in the bottom right corner of the PTZ control menu. You can input a preset value if you have any saved points of interest and when you select OK the PTZ will know exactly where to navigate to and it will snap very quickly to that saved location. When we took a snapshot using the snapshot icon in this application, a photo was saved to the picture library. And I want to pull that up for you really quickly to show you that it is in there.